Hello, everybody. Welcome to another edition of our Committee Access. This week, we have two more ribbon cutting from the Oxford Chamber of Commerce, one for the Oxford Orion Fish New Building. Then we went to the Legacy 925 for the new restaurant ribbon cutting. And finally, another great dog from the K9 Rescue League, all today at our Community Access. Welcome back. Oxford Lake Orion provides food for our neighbors in need who need in Oxford, Lake Orion, Addison, Oakland Township. While well, they've got a brand new building, let's watch their ribbon cutting. Dan has been a donor of Oxford Orion Fish for many years, and he has been out to our pantry often. And um, he just came up to us one day and he says, hey, I'm looking for a place for Oxford Orion Fish. And I said, why? You know, we have a building. And he said, but it's not large enough. You need more room. And he said, you know, you're carrying food up and you're carrying it down. And I said, you mean we're not getting any younger? And he said, that's right. You're not getting any younger. And he said, so I'm looking for you a building. So then when he brought us here and um, said this is a site he had bought and that he would refinish it. And he said he would make it one floor. And he certainly did. And it's just we just never expected a building like this to fall into our hands but it's we are just so excited and our our clients when they come in the smiles on their face and they say oh it smells so clean and you know it gives them dignity it gives them a sense of hey this is my grocery store yes and uh, they just truly they they just love it and um, we do too it's just so much fun and it doesn't even seem like work anymore. We have storage, we have offices, we have a meeting room. Uh, it's just, it's a gem. We, we're very blessed. Well, the volunteers are, somebody asked me one day how many volunteers we had, and we have no idea. Because, you know, they come in for food drives, maybe they'll be here an hour, two hours, and they'll leave. And back and forth and you know kids come in from school for projects and for community hours um, it's just I know we pro we we have hundreds of volunteers and it just seems like whenever we have a food drive or a project we're, we're just swamped with phone calls what can we do when do you want me I'll be right there I can drive I can stock I can lift I can it's, they, it's, it's just remarkable if you want to work pantry or uh, in the office, you, it would be really one day a month if you wanted to do it, and it could be two days a month. And it's it's two to three hour shift, and um, it's it's just a wonderful opportunity. And then stock shelves, they can come in on Tuesday mornings and help stock shelves. Thursday morning, stock shelves. The second Saturday of the month for stocking. Uh, it's just, you know, there's all kinds of opportunities and um, it's wonderful. For Thanksgiving, as our clients come in and get their groceries, they get an extra bag for their Thanksgiving from families one to four. And then if they have larger families, they take out two extra bags. And in that bag are cranberries and uh, beans and soup and pie crust, uh, mix, um, pumpkin. Uh, and besides that, they sign an envelope with their address on, and then we send them a gift certificate so they can buy their meat. So uh, it, it's uh, just a little extra for them for Thanksgiving, and they love it. So all month they will be taking out extra bags. So give them a call if you want to help, if you want to donate food, if, if you need services here, give them a call. The number's at the bottom of the and screen. If you want to stop by and see our wonderful pantry, come on in. We invite you. It's beautiful. Let's show it. Yep. And today's a ribbon cutting day, so we're gonna, I'm going to yes. let you go so you yes. can go cut okay. that ribbon. Thank you very come much. on down. Welcome 
welcome everyone. Thank you for joining us to celebrate this great cause. Oxford Orient Fish is a nonprofit, all volunteer staffed organization. They provide groceries and limited financial assistance to our neighbors in Orion, Oxford, Addison, and Leonard. Also school backpacks, Thanksgiving and Easter dinner baskets, and provide Christmas gifts through Angel Fish. I would like to introduce Lorraine Baldwin and let her take it from here. Congratulations. Thank you. <clears throat> wow. Isn't this just amazing? You know, about this time last year, Dan approached us and he said, I think you need a new building. That was never in our wildest dreams. This new building means that we can do more for our clients. We're just so thrilled. We are celebrating 45 years of serving others. We have come a long, long way. Thank you, Dan and Pam, for making this possible. I call Dan our angel sent from heaven. Thank you, board members, for planning and engineering this move, picking up extra duties. Thank you, Steve Towns and Palmer Moving Company and Maureen and Ed Labarge for their expertise service for this move. Thank you, volunteers, for working with us and changing your schedules. Thank you, donors, for being so kind and generous all the time. Thank you, clients, for the opportunity to serve you. Not only are we ready to serve, but we also rejoice with you on your accomplishments. Many thanks to the villages of t and townships of Oxford and Lake Orion for their services and also for the Oxford Leader and a great CJ for the great support in all of our undertakings. And not, not last but least is our great Meyer Simply Give program. I'll tell you that we just thrive with the Oxford program, and uh, the Meyer program, and we love them. I'm sure those who have gone before us are smiling and are very, very proud we think of John Cass, Jean Von Steen, John Jarvis, Ted and Mary Boberg, to just to name a few. We feel we now will be able to serve our clients more efficiently. And on one floor, we are so excited. Yay. Yay. <laughs> may, that was a big reason. Yeah. <laughs> may God grant us wisdom, strength, kindness and love as we continue to serve our neighbors. Thank you all. Now join us for some refreshments after we cut the ribbon and enjoy our beautiful building and this beautiful day. Thank you all so much for coming out. Thank you. I've got something I want to give you here. They have that. Oh, and we just want to present that with to you from the Oxford Chamber of Commerce. We are very, very proud to have you here in our business community. So Not nearly as proud as we are to have you <laughs> helping us, too. So, thank you. Congratulations to the Oxford Lake Orion Fish. Next up, another ribbon cutting, this time for the Legacy 925 for the ribbon cutting, this time with our reporter Alexis Ware.
All right, guys. So today is an exciting day. We're here at Legacy 925 for the Legacy Social. It's the new restaurant here in town at the Legacy 925 Center. So let's go inside, talk to Christian, and get the cool scoop. guys so we made it inside with Christian Christian what is the name of your new restaurant uh, the new restaurant is 925 social Awesome. and are you gonna have any bigger signage like off to the road to let people know you know today is the ribbon cutting but we are officially open we are officially open we actually put a we are open sign on the front of the building uh, we're gonna go back and try to work with the township for a little bit better signage because I think that's one of the challenges in the building awesome. and what are business hours looking like for 925 social uh, we're open Monday Tuesday Wednesday from 4 to 10 Thursday from 4 to 12 and then Friday we open for lunch at 11 to 2 Saturday 11 to 2 and Sunday 11 to 2 and over the next couple of weeks we're gonna do a, a beautiful Sunday brunch in mimosas so uh, we're looking forward to a great breakfast on Sunday Awesome. now you tell me about the breakfast and some mimosas but what is the I guess the menu looking like uh, we actually have a copy of the menu here, but you know, it's a growing menu and the idea is we have a food truck theme. So we have what's called like street tiny street dining, so the best of all street food. And then we have a new kitchen that will be opening in the next couple of weeks where we're gonna have uh, gourmet pizza. Um, we'll do kind of like a Green Lantern style uh, family dining for pizza. And then here we have like our most popular dishes are Captain Crunch chicken. We've got fried peanut butter and jelly, but we also have like great salmon. Uh, we've got uh, buffalo chicken and wings. Uh, so there's a plethora of dishes we've got for health food, uh, vegetable sandwiches, hummus, all of the things that you would love in a restaurant. Wow, that sounds really delicious. Now, what about catering? Are you guys looking into that? Uh, we do offer catering and probably one of our major focuses here towards the end of the season is family celebrations. So whether you're bringing your family here for dinner or corporate parties, uh, we have a ton of corporate parties coming in. Um, we do a lot of uh, work with churches for lock-ins and team building. Um, we also uh, are working with schools. We just got done with a huge fundraiser uh, for the percussion group for Lake Orion. Uh, we also support Oxford schools. We did the halftime show for their playoffs this last weekend. And I just recently found out that not only just the traditional schools, but you also support Crossroads. Uh, of course. Yeah, awesome. You know, from a from a fundraising perspective, every week, you know, we try to support somebody or some organization that's local. And I like organizations that we can feel in touch and really give a check and make impact or just support them in some way. Awesome. Well, that's lovely. So taking a spin back around to the catering for a little while. So that catering is in-house. It's for Legacy 925. As far as other parties, maybe at a different banquet hall or something, house party, do you also offering offer catering for that? Uh, not yet. Okay. But it's something that you're looking into? Yes. Great. Awesome. All right. Now, is it anything else that's coming new to the restaurant besides what we see here today? Sure. Well, part of the... Uh, uh, 925 social um, which not only includes like bowling the go-karts mini bowling we have football bowling archery tag um, but we have opened up legacy live so it's the legacy live.com and so that's where we're doing live entertainment uh, this past weekend we had a kiss tribute band which was fantastic um, we have live music on Friday and Saturday here at the venue um, about the last weekend of every month we're doing live comedy so if you look up the legacy live.com you can see all of our entertainment as well as the restaurant and and family family social here yeah and all that is obviously happening in the banquet hall as well as other parts of the the building but it's even more convenient that the 
the food truck is right behind us and that's where the majority of the food is being prepared right now, right? All of it, yes. All of it? Yes. Even when you get that new kitchen, is it still going to be prepared right in front of people in that food truck? Uh, well, we we use both kitchens for sure. Alright, awesome. Well, we're going to take a look at the food truck and watch you cut that ribbon. <laughs> Alright, thank you so much and please check out all of our private rooms for corporate parties and dining and, you know, uh, birthday party celebrations. Awesome, of course. Thank you for talking to us. We're going to take a look at some of the main attractions here for the restaurant opening, guys. Welcome, everyone. We are here today to celebrate the grand opening of this beautiful new restaurant, 925 Social. The creator and owner of the Legacy Center is Christian Mills. Christian? Thank you. Uh, it's a great honor to be uh, to welcome the chamber here today, and uh, we're grateful for all the support in the community. Uh, we have our superstar behind us. <laughs> this is Ari. Um, 925 Social is a very dynamic uh, place where families can gather, have a great meal. Um, it's a little different atmosphere where you can come in, put your cell phone aside for a minute. We offer family games. Uh, you can watch the game, have a beer. And uh, I think that it should really be a compliment to the community. Uh, it's also a fantastic place where, you know, anyone who's 21 can come have a date or uh, anyone who's 75 can, you know, have a go-kart birthday party. So we wanted to really create a special place that brings this community together. Uh, hold on, a, a, a word from our sponsor. <laughs> Absolutely. So we're we're really proud proud to be part of this community, and uh, there's some people I wanted to thank that are next to me here. I'm going to start with uh, Samantha, my fiance, and this is Ari, uh, and we have Jace, um, uh, Grace, who's done an amazing job with front of the house, and she handles a lot of our corporate parties and catering. And then we have Sharon. She's back there, her husband Mark, who uh, run our facility for Urban Air, but have been a, a really great part of this team in developing this restaurant. Um, and then Jen, who has been my assistant for almost six years. Uh, my God, I can't believe she puts up with me. Uh, and some of our new uh, our new staff here, Fred Gracie and Tish and Theodore. Uh, Theodore has come, uh, he's been one of the, the main people that we lean on uh, to help consult and run the restaurant. He's done a beautiful job with organizing, setting up, and he's responsible for our menu and for a lot of the services that are here. So we're grateful for Theo. You got <laughs> Theo the Conqueror. Uh, and then we have Ed in the back here. Uh, Ed's one of our kitchen managers and he's a pit master. Uh, he's responsible for some of our fantastic dishes. If you've ever had the salmon patty or the the salmon cakes here, they're fantastic. That's his design. Um, am I forgetting anyone? I don't think so. Uh, where's Joe from Design House? The big giant. Okay, he's over there at the bar. Uh, they helped us do a, a great job designing this facility. Um, so we're really grateful for everyone who works so hard here every day. Uh, we have Dana also who's not here with us, but she manages the front of the house. So we wanted to thank the community again. We're very excited to be part of it. There's a lot of great restaurant tours in town and uh, it's one of the most challenging jobs you can undertake. And so hats off to all of uh, the great restaurants in this community and we're glad to be part, to be part of them and part of you. Uh, the, the last thing I wanted to share is that in, con in conjunction with Legacy 925, so it's not only a great place to eat, but we've got mini bowling, 
We've got regular bowling, there's football bowling, uh, we have laser tag in our go-kart facility. So there's so much here where you can come and enjoy your day and your dinner and really engage together. Um, a lot of families come in on a Friday night and their kids are at Urban Air or they're at the escape rooms or they're doing gymnastics. So uh, I couldn't be more proud of not only this opening but Legacy 925 and all of our tenants who uh, come together to create this fantastic facility for our community. So uh, get a massage, you can you know do some karate, do some boxing. Uh, the last part is our, our new event center which is called The Legacy Live and at thelegacylive.com you can see our great lineup of live music. We've got comedians uh, that are at the last weekend of every month. We'll do DJs. We just had a tribute band for KISS this last weekend. So it was a great event and we hope we can build on that event center and also welcome people in for fundraisers or, you know, we have a, a pretty large church group here that meets every Tuesdays. Um, so uh, there's something for everyone in this facility. So thank you very much for supporting us today. Thank you. Uh, it's been a great pleasure. <laughs> well, welcome to the business community, and we'll have you go ahead and cut the ribbon. <laughs> Yay! Welcome! Very nice. <laughs> Melissa Canellis with Farm Bureau Insurance. And I see a Oxford Chamber badge on you. That's right. I'm one of the ambassadors with the Oxford Chamber. He's the boss. Oh, and he loves the, the mic. <laughs> <laughs> he's he's kind of being the silent type today. <laughs> so what do you think about the food? The food here is amazing. I have not tried it yet. You haven't tried it yet? Yeah, we, we actually tried some at Boulder Point and they had some of the sliders and things like that here and oh my gosh they were to die for <laughs> awesome so what all do they have um, out for us to try um, today it looks like they've got wings with a nice selection of sauces potato skins and sliders and chips and salsa <laughs> that's what you think I think you said it tastes really good and it looks really good as well it smells good <laughs> All right, so are you guys excited for the new restaurant opening up? One more to add to the town's list. Absolutely. You can't have enough places to eat in Oxford. Awesome. Well, thanks for talking to us. We'll let you try your food now. Thank you. <laughs> thanks. <laughs> So I am here with Jack Curtis. And how is the food? Food's really good. It's a uh, smoked wing and uh, baked potatoes with uh, all the uh, accoutrements in there. Pretty good stuff. All right. And have you had Legacy's food before? Yes, we uh, experienced it through a soft opening with Christian, and uh, the food was really good. So you already knew what to expect today. So let's give us, or could you please give us a quick overlook on some of the appetizers and different samples that they have? It's, it's it's pretty eclectic. I know they have this great bean chili and um, the, the, the pretzel roll sliders. They're kind of cool too. Yeah, it's it's um it's different, different. And they do have um, a standard hamburger, but the uh, appetizers and some of the other food is a little different, and it's kind of good. And what does their drink selection look like? I see you have something over here. Tonight I'm having a Michelob Ultra, very cold, but they have a lot of draft beer, and uh, by the looks of the bar. They have quite a bit of alcohol. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll leave you to your wings and your assortment of appetizers. Thanks for talking to us. Okay. Thank you very much. All right, guys.
guys, so as you can tell, it was a wonderful turnout. I actually stopped and got a little bit of food myself, and it was some pretty good choices. So don't be afraid to stop by 925 Social and get something to eat. We're going to toss it back to Bill at the desk. Now that Legacy 925 is just a busy, busy place. Next up, a bunch of little puppies at the Canine Rescue League. This is Hermione, one of our little puppies up at Canine Stray Rescue in Oxford, just north of the village actually. She's one of a litter of four puppies we got. They all have Harry Potter names, so we have Hermione, Ginny, Ron, and Harry. If you don't know about Canine Stray Rescue, we are a non-profit organization run solely on donations and fundraisers and the small adoption fee that we charge for everybody and wonderful volunteers that come in and clean and work with people, work with the dogs, help them get adopted. Um, our average adoption rate per year is a little over 700 and most of those dogs have been saved from the euthanasia list at county shelters when they are overcrowded. As you can see, this is one very cute little puppy. Um, we're not quite sure how big she's going to get, but certainly she's got a lot of growing left to do. Uh, she and her brothers and sisters are actually all available if you want to come up and visit with them. Um, they are ready to go home. They're all spayed, neutered, up to date with their shots as to whatever a puppy would need at this point. We have a four page application. You can actually find it on our website which is uh, www.caninestray.com. You can print out the application and fill it out and then bring it with you here anytime you want to visit. We usually have about 50 dogs on site that are ready to go home and we also have several in foster homes. Apart from these little puppies like this, we have large dogs, medium sized dogs, we have dogs of all ages, all breeds, colors, shapes and sizes. So if you're just looking for a dog, we have plenty for you to visit with. We love to have visitors. You can also see our um, public open hours on that same website. We're open five days a week, Thursday through Monday, and we are closed on Tuesday and Wednesday. If you're interested in volunteering, we'd love for you to fill out a volunteer application and bring that in or you may submit it online too. Uh, we can always do with more volunteers, helping here at the kennels, fostering dogs that need special care after surgery, um, also helping at off-site events, which we do four Saturdays a month. We are at Petco near Great Lakes Crossing on the first and third Saturdays every month, and we are at Pet Stuff Harvest Time Farm Market in Oxford on the second and fourth Saturdays. So all these events need plenty of volunteers to, to make it possible to get done. If you're interested in helping, we'd love for you to come up and visit us, talk some more to some of our wonderful volunteers. And thank you. So cute little puppies, just getting a new leash on life from the Canine Rescue League. You can get those puppies or help some other dogs at 2120 Metamore Road, just a mile north of Myers. Well, that's all the time for this week. We hope you enjoyed our program. So, for our great, great crew of OCTV, I'm Bill Service, and we hope to see you again on our community access. love local sports. Whether it's Oxford High School or Parks and Rec, you can buy copies of each game. To purchase your copy, call us at 248-628-9658 or give us an email at manager at occtv.org or talk to us at the next game. Hopefully we'll see you there.